Hello everyone, welcome back to Sun Innovative YouTube channel. Today is a new video on preparing MOSFET and IGBT before soldering in a different circuits. So let me unbox the component which I have taken out from the box. This is the MOSFET and IGBT. This all having a different ratings, voltage and current. So let me also take the heatsink from the box. And this plays an important role for the cooling of MOSFET as a heat dissipating material and uh, it comes in a different shapes and size uh, this one is a small size for T0220 package of component mounting hole is placed for the fixed support MOSFET and the IGBT and the last one is a screw which is needed to make it fixed support for casing of the MOSFET now all, all this we have for testing of MOSFET now let us start working on this. I have one heatsink here and uh, one screwdriver. So let me assemble this first. Now it is done. And this is called anabond or a compound material for a MOSFET and the heatsink material and uh, it is also available online you can find and you can purchase and uh, as you can see in the figure MOSFET backside the surface is quite unbalanced and rough surfaces so due to this you need to apply this heat sink compound material so the heat can transfer equally or the properly to the junction to the atmosphere via heat sinks so for that you need to apply this compound on a surface and uh, gently you can apply this compound material on it and uh, you can see the make sure your hole should be should not be covered with the compound and after this you can place the mosfet on the heat sink and uh, this way you can apply the screw also so let me connect this screw with the screwdriver and uh, do tight enough so the surface can place properly between them now it is tight, tight enough and uh, this MOSFET is ready to transfer the heat easily from junction to the atmosphere you can see in a figure so this is complete MOSFET with heat sink with the same procedure apply this component to this IGBT also so if you found this surface much more unbalanced so you can use the compound on heat sink also this compound is applied to the heat sink so you can make this surface very smooth and proper clean and uh, you can use this compound on the back side of IGBT also so it is in the case when the surface is too much unbalanced and uh, now fixing this IGBT and connecting on the heat sink also and uh, let me take one screwdriver here mounting and uh, fixing this screw on IGBT so it's placed properly and this is the ready IGBT with the heatsink and the compound material So let us start testing of MOSFET 60NF10 as you can see in a figure right corner data seed is shows the MOSFET ratings are 100 voltage and 80 amperes capacity and the testing terminals are given 
in the figure and uh, identify the left side with gate drain source let me turn on the multimeter and uh, set on continuity testing check the probe before testing first step is to check the drain to source terminal and it should be open it means infinite resistance let me zoom this how the probe sees is connected and uh, placed on a MOSFET drain to source here 2 and 3 pin number and uh, meter shows one reading it means open circuit so it is working perfect second is to test the point between drain to casing of the MOSFET and it should be short circuited and we are getting sound it means it is working and good now the last one is the reverse the probe between drain to source it must shows the range between 350 ohm to 475 ohm resistance and uh, it shows it works properly in the range of resistance now next is irf 540n mosfet and the ratings are 100 voltage and 33 ampere capacity the symbol and terminals are shown in a data sheet and as you can see the terminals are given and the advantages are there so let us start testing on it first is to test drain to source so before this let me check multimeter and probes so here you can check this one drain to source it is open it means it is working perfect there is a no short circuit and uh, next is short circuit between drain to casing of the component and it is working and the last one is test between the reverse the probe drain to source and resistance range are measured and here it is also shows in a range it means it is perfect and working in a good condition again next is to test the irf z44 and mosfet and the ratings are 55 voltage and 49 amperes and this is the standard mosfet which i have so let us start testing on it and the first step is to check the terminals between drain to source as we know in previous cases so it is shows open it means working good and uh, second test and uh, it is short circuited so it is working also it is good condition and the last one the resistance shows in a range of the MOSFET by reversing the probe of the drain to source so this is MOSFET is perfect and working good and uh, this is an IRF 740 MOSFET and the ratings are 400 voltage and 10 amperes forward current as you can see in data sheet the pins are also given so start testing on a first that is a drain to source again and uh, as you can see in multimeter it is working well it is open circuit you can see in multimeter display and the second is to short circuit it is also working and the last one to reverse the probes and uh, it is also getting in range of resistance up to the 7 sorry 475 ohm resistance maximum now this is the last one that is IGBT testing and uh, 25 and 120 IGBTs I have and the ratings are 1200 voltage and the 25 ampere capacity 
and it is a high voltage IGBT so let us start testing for this one also first is drain to source and it is working perfect and uh, you can see in multimeter it is open working perfect and uh, second is source circuited you can see it is shorted and it is also good and the last same as a MOSFET we did in the previous cases shows the resistance in a range of MOSFET and the IGBT between 350 ohm to 475 ohm and uh, so this all are ready after this testing and working well so you can use in the further circuit for the soldering so let me take the one case study of damage MOSFET here I have one power unit circuit and uh, all we know that all SMPS having the MOSFET in it so let us start testing so you can see all you can see all the terminals are connected on a surface of this PCB and uh, joints I am connecting with the, my probe and it is SMD component so you can see the components we need to take care while testing on it because short distance between the two so you can see the all terminals are sorted and the it multimeter shows and here the sound it shows the beep sound at every testing point it gives continuity so it means all terminals are sorted you can hear the sound so this is the damage one again testing every point are of the MOSFETs are sorted it means it is in damage we have one more circuit of SMPS here and the MOSFET is connected here so you can see it is connected on the PCB for the chopping purpose of the DC voltage in SMPS so let us test on this circuit also so all we need to proceed individual testing points drain to source voltage and uh, let us connect the props here then drain to source the pin between 2 and 3 so meter shows the 1 it means working well and second is reverse the probe and uh, it shows the resistance in a range of transistor so it is working well and uh, it is good condition now this MOSFETs are ready to get solder into the circuit as per your design and you can mount on the PCB and you can solder it uh, without any damage so it will be going to work properly thank you everyone thank you for watching this video Thank mm -hmm. you.